resistant to White House announcement recommending Americans wear face covering in public. The demand for face masks has never been greater. If you don't have access to a mask in your area, the CDC recently recommended wearing a homemade mask like a bandana or a scarf. But would that be enough to protect you? Well, we're talking with a local professor who says he may have a solution for added protection. And started making it for different types of fibers and fabrics. Professor of physics at the University of Houston, Seamus Curran developed the hydrophobic coating to waterproof surfaces like masonry, wood, and concrete. But recently, the professor shifted his focus toward the fight against COVID-19. There's huge droplets of water vapor that contains the virus. So even as you're breathing in and out or you're talking to somebody, you're still emitting. So Curran and his team started thinking, why not use their waterproofing formula on fabric masks? If I can slow it down, if I can stop it getting through by stopping it traveling through with water, that's absolutely spot on. Curran says the coating would also improve the effectiveness on cheaper dust masks usually found at big box stores. Locally and across the country, smaller groups and individuals have started sewing their own masks. But are those effective? If it gets wet or moist, as you breathe in, you provide a force to allow that liquid to wick into your mouth. And as you do so, you're bringing in the virus. Curran says his formula on those fabrics would prevent any liquid absorption. Right now, the professor and his team are awaiting the next phase, getting FDA approval. The people who have got the biggest contact with the FDA are the people who manufacture the masks. They know exactly the right people to go to, who know exactly the right tests to carry out to get this approval and fast track it.